Mobility in Vienna should be fair, healthy, short distance, eco-friendly, robust and efficient. Together on the move is the buzzword. Expressed in modal split indicators, the target is 80 to 20 for sustainable modes versus car. With 39% of all trips, Vienna has currently already a very high use of public transport, while the share by car is at 27%. Enabling mobility without car ownership is a central concern for transport policy in the city. The Vienna Urban Mobility Plan was prepared through a far-reaching discussion process bringing together many institutions and representatives of organizations. One of the fields of action for mobility in Vienna is public space, sharing streets in a fair way. In the past, the design of streets was oriented towards cars. At present, more than 65% of the city's street area is used for moving and parked motor vehicles, even though only 28% of all trips are made by car. The City of Vienna supports the introduction of more shared spaces and temporary pedestrian zones. These measures show how motor traffic and pedestrians can coexist and aim to improve the quality of the city for rest and recreation. On a total of what is planned to be seven strolling promenades, pedestrians will enjoy a particularly high quality experience. The first two projects of this kind are already in place, for example here at Weringerstrasse. A lighthouse project was the transformation of the Maria Hilferstrasse, Austria's biggest shopping street, into a traffic calmed area. At the beginning of the 20th century, it was a street with lots of space for everyone before it gradually became very car dominated. The transformation process to change the street back to something like its former self lasted for around three years. It includes a pedestrian zone in the central section and encounter zones at either side of this. Many changes were made to the level of street surfaces and the layout of street furniture to make the street more pedestrian friendly. The transformation was discussed in considerable depth in the initial stages. It was both a political discussion and one related to the content and detail of the plans. Ultimately, it came down to a citizen consultation with 53% of the votes in favour of the new design. However, in another consultation vote, one year after the implementation of the full project, 71% would vote in favour of the new design. Gregor Stratil-Sauer, the subhead of the Urban Planning Department on Mobility Strategies, has some useful tips for the successful planning of such a project. We communicated very clearly and without sugarcoating. I would say that was really important to say, yes, there will be dust, but uh, we will try to make the construction works as short as possible. And another thing was really to, to set up a, a plan, uh, a time frame, uh, a, a good time frame and then to keep to this time frame so that for the shopkeepers here that if we say we will be ready before the Christmas shopping then it's really important to be ready and not to have some constructions then and of course you have to talk a lot with all the people with the shopkeepers with the um, people living there and with everyone it's communication and a lot of, of talking with everyone to have a successful project in this dimension. Two-thirds of the people are satisfied with the redesign of the street. As well as the improved shopping experience, the new possibilities for strolling, sojourning and socialising were also highlighted as positive aspects of the transformation of this street. Mm -hmm.